power of digitalization within a, a big company, which might be kind of a trap of home office and not being visible in the company anymore, and the, the influence of digitalization within a company you found uh, your own. So, put it on the other way, uh, should we encourage more and more women to found their own businesses, uh, to make them uh, at the same start level, at least as male founders according digitalization. Yeah, um, entrepreneurship is really uh, key actually because um, what the digitalization is, after is, is giving us is tools, tools to compete equally. And in terms of uh, entrepreneurship, we know today that government has struggled to get any kind of uh, jobs to the new generation. We don't know what jobs is going to happen next, <laughs> or even next year, or actually, let's say the next five years. So, um, but with digitalization, we can really create, we can reinvent, we can, we can really experiment and also have this entrepreneurship mindset to make sure that we are the next, uh, you know, when you look at all those big uh, inventors like uh, Elon Musk or Steve Jobs or Bill Gates or, you know, when they start, what was there? Nothing. They only start to drink. They didn't have what we have now, but they were able to pursue those dreams. So why can't we, with everything that we have now, really take it to the next level? and really make sure that we allow ourselves, this is what also I'm passionate about dreaming and uh, getting people to dream, have big boys, uh, you know, dreams, uh, to really think outside of the box and really understand that we can create anything. Anything that you see here has been in somebody's head before it manifested. So anything can be created. You know, somebody, um, uh, our speaker earlier today said that the next person that will be in the moon will be a woman. So who thought that somebody was going to go to the moon first? It started with somebody's imagination, right? So everything can start in our imagination using some tools that we have. We have some kind of mature tools. When I started my uh, IT degree, they were talking about artificial intelligence uh, at the time already, and now we're almost there. Mm -hmm. We have all those tools. We don't even need to code. Mm -hmm. Just use those, mm -hmm. as somebody said earlier. There's no mm -hmm. need to be in the 1001 to code or be code you know. You can use that. It's like electricity. You don't need to know how electricity works to know that you can use that. So you can use that in any kind of field. Whether you like fashion, whether you like uh, medicine, whether you like agriculture, whether you like football, sports, any kind of thing, you know, you have EdTech, MedTech, all kind of things, AgriTech, anything. You just need to pick your field, use some kind of, you know, uh, digital tools that is out there, and if you don't even want to use it, you can find a collaborator, you can find a partner. This is what collaboration today is. So, you know, again, that is another kind of thinking that we have to go in our education system when we are taught about, you know, not collaborating in school because you have to do your own thing. If you ask somebody that means cheating, that doesn't mean this is not called collaboration. So we need to, you know, reinvent that. And also we don't think about creativity. You have to memorize it. It's yes or no answer, you know. And then you get on the ground, and then suddenly you have to be creative. How do you on earth you become creative when you haven't learned it? How on earth you start to be collaborative when you haven't learned it at school? How on earth you start to value failure when you only were marked for success? So we need to rethink, you know, because we spend our life on learning what we learn at school. So we need to also get our education fit for the next, uh, you know. <laughs> industrial revolution um, to make sure that we are equipped. So this is why actually with the digital, we can actually don't even, you know, we can teach ourselves. So we don't have to go to school really to be honest. We can teach ourselves. There are all the tools out there. If we are curious, we can go out there and really find some solutions to problems out there. Thank you very much, Francine. This was a very important and very emotional statement. 
And I think, again, uh, crisis as a chance, this year 2020 also has shown us, uh, well, we could use much more of uh, digitalization uh, in our daily life and get access through digitalization when the world is on a shutdown and it continued working. Thank you so much, all the four of you. Well, please stay in because I do have two more uh, small interventions on this round table empowering women in the digital age. It's first uh, Ms. Tana al Khazawani. I hope I pronounced right. Ahmed Wasallam to Jordan. Can you hear me, Tana? We hope to have you. Perfect. You're director of the Business and Professional Women Association.